Your solar inverter can start with either solar power or utility power. At night, when power is restored after an outage. You might notice there's no power in your house. When solar power becomes available in the morning, the supply returns. This suggests a faulty utility startup module in the MPPT controller. MPPT may be integrated with the main board. As it is shown here or installed as a separate module. Here is close-up view. Arrows shows where faults are most likely here you see the components with wiring connections side by side. These parts are prone to failure and should be checked. If the MPPT is installed as separate module as here, the utility start module will be a removable card. Highlighted part shows here with arrow. Here's the top view of the utility startup card. Now, here's the side view. We need to remove and test this card. The usual faulty components are MOSFETs and fast recovery diodes. Bridge rectifiers rarely fail, it's mostly the MOSFETs and diodes. Sometimes, 3 watt resistors fail, but it's uncommon. We need to replace the faulty components. Ensure the replacements match the original specifications. Here are suitable alternatives if exact replacements aren't available. Never replace the MOSFET with IRF630 or IRF740, their ratings differ. They'll overheat, fail, and cause more problems. Now, let's disassemble the solar inverter and check it out. You need to remove the MPPT controller, installed separately in the inverter. I've already removed most screws to save time, now, finish the rest. Next, I'll disconnect the MPPT card's wires. I often skip some steps and details, especially those related to soldering or desoldering, as they are unnecessary or assumed to be known. Now, I'm removing the 220V AC supply wire from the utility startup card. Disconnecting the main controller wire here. Now, remove the bus control wire. The MPPT controller provides power to the main board using these solar wires. Now, removing the solar panel's supply wires. The MPPT controller should now come out easily, but something seems stuck, let's check it out. I forgot to remove this 20V wire from the main board, remove this wire as well. Now, the MPPT controller is out for inspection. Here, we have the utility startup module. Take it out, there are two screws on the back side. It's not an embedded card. But even if it is embedded in the MPPT, the parts and concept remain the same. Whether this module is embedded with the main board or installed separately. Now, I removed this SMPS module, which converts AC 220V to DC 150V or 350V. Here is the 220V AC supply input. Here is the fuse along with the bridge rectifier. There's a MOSFET installed here. Here is fast recovery diode. This rectifier rarely fails. This MOSFET usually gets faulty. Along with this fast recovery diode. Occasionally, the bridge rectifier fails too, along with the fuse. Now, test this fast recovery diode. Put probes on both sides and check for continuity. Then, reverse the polarity, we get continuity both ways. So, this diode is faulty. Now, for the MOSFET, the gate should be isolated from both the source and drain. There shouldn't be any continuity between them, but here, there is. With the gate shorted, the MOSFET is faulty too. Now, Test its bridge rectifier. Remove the faulty MOSFET first. Otherwise, you'll get incorrect readings because of it. The AC pins should show low resistance in one direction and high in reverse. The same applies to the DC output and AC input pins. Reverse polarity should always read OL. A faulty rectifier will show readings both ways when polarity is reversed. So, this rectifier is okay. Now, after replacing all the components, 
we are testing the output. We are getting 150 volts DC. Reverse polarity shows dash 150 V DC. So this SMPS module has been repaired properly. Install it to our inverter and test it. Give it 220 volt AC supply and check if it turns on or not. Inverter turned on successfully from utility source only neither battery nor solar supply was connected. Now switch it on and test utility switching. Inverter has successfully switched to utility as well. That means our repair has been successful and inverter started with utility as well.